All right, so here's part two. We talked about work and how if you apply a force over a distance, you're doing work. You're giving something energy. That's the point. Now, the other thing is power, and that's what we're going to get into today. Part two, power. All right. Okay, so power is, is very much related to work, a lot like other things. Um, the way that we define it is that it's the rate at which at which work is done. All right, the rate at which work is done. Now, if you remember, rate means we're gonna use time and work means we're gonna use work. So we know our equation is gonna to have to do with work and time. Okay? Now, typically when we do things with a rate, it's usually underneath. So we should get the work per time or how many joules per second, something like that. So it's how much work is done over a period of time. Okay. So let's go with some math here. Power equals work divided by time. So our equations wind up being P for power equals work divided by time. It's really that simple. Whatever W is divided by the time that it took to do that. Okay. And another way of looking at it, if you remember our work equation, work equals force times distance, you can just substitute in FD for W, and you get this equation, which is P, or power, equals force times distance over time. Okay. So the key point here is this bottom one, which is that things with higher power get the same amount of work done as other things, just more quickly. Think about cars. You want the highest horsepower. You want the most powerful car because not only will it move that car from the starting line to the finish line, but it'll do it most quickly, okay? Technically, all the cars are doing the same amount of work. It's just that the ones that go faster have more power, which means they get the work done more quickly. That's why you'll see power as a big thing in a lot of applications because people want to do their work, but they want to get it done quickly, so they want to have more power. All right? um, that's really about it. Power, it's just the rate at which work is done. Okay? So let's talk about units for it, though. Okay? If you look at the equations, you'll see that. Okay? How is it measured? Well, here's what we get. Joules per second or watts. How do we get that? Let me show you, okay? All right, so work is measured in joules, okay? Like you learned in the last podcast. And seconds, we always, or sorry, time, we always use seconds as our base unit. So it's joules per second, okay? Yeah, you could do Newton meters per second, okay? Uh, but that's something else entirely, okay? But it's joules per second. Now, so power is measured in joules per second, or we can simplify that and call it the watt, which is a capital W. I know, we have a capital W for work and a capital W for watts, but capital W in an equation is work. As a unit, it's watts. Remember that. So same similar thing here, you've got force is measured in newtons, distance is measured in meters, divided by time, that's newton meters per second, but we learned before it was joules, or newton meters is just joules, so it's joules per second, or watts. And that's what we get for power. Um, this should be pretty easy to get, I think. Um, it's just the amount of work that you do over the period of time. Things with higher power get things done more quickly. Uh, that's really um, all I can think about. Let me double check. Oh, again, just to remember, work is a form of energy. So power is the rate at which... Uh, work, or sorry, energy is transferred. So if work is the transfer of energy or the 
the creation, not creation of energy, but the transfer of energy. Power is the rate at which that energy is transferred. That's terrible handwriting. My apologies. But anyway, uh, that's it. Have a good day. I'll see you in class tomorrow.